Hello, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to continue working on how to secure our account. So, we'll sign in into the root account. And once you sign in, click on IAM. In the last lecture, we created a user, we created a group, and add the users to the group. In this lecture, we are going to be creating multi factor authentication for our root account. And we're also going to be assigning a strong password policy. So let's start with the strong password policy. To apply a strong password policy, click apply an IAM password policy, then select manage password policy, then over here click set up password policy. Then this is where you set it up so you can enforce the minimum characters your password should have. So we can say it should have a minimum of eight and you can require uppercase, at least one lowercase, at least one number, and non-alphabetical. Enable your password to expire. So if I check this, it will give you an option to select after how many days the password should expire. We'll leave it at 90. And password expiration requires administrator reset. We'll leave that as no. And allow users to change their own password, yes. And prevent password reuse, yes. So we'll check all this. You can also set the number of time that has to pass before a user can reuse a password. For this, we'll leave it at five and we'll click save changes. And that has enforced the password policy for our user. Let's go back to the dashboard and you can see that is checked. The next thing we need to do is set up multi-factor authentication. So what a multi-factor authentication is, is an additional step to your password. So after entering your password, it is going to ask you for another set of number. And I'll show you what I mean. So let me open a new window in the cognito. I have another AWS account and I'm just going to um, go to the AWS management console real quick. And I'm going to sign in into this account. And I'm going to enter my password. I'll click sign in. And now you're seeing this MFA code. It is asking for MFA code. This code is what we are setting up now. So when someone logs into your account, after putting in the password, they will have to enter this MFA code. Okay. So I'm just going to close this. Let's click activate MFA on your root account. Manage MFA. On your security credentials page, select multi-factor authentication. Select activate multi-factor authentication. And here is where you are going to select how you want to authenticate. The first option is a virtual MFA device. And this has authentication app installed on your mobile device. This is what we are going to use. On your phone, go to the app store. For this example, I'll be using Google Authenticator, but you can use any type of authenticator app that you want. So on my phone, I'm just going to go into my app store and I'll type in Google Authenticator and I'll select it and download it. And once it's downloaded on my phone, I'll select this virtual MFA device, click continue. And on this page, I'm going to click this show QR code. On my phone, I'm going to click begin setup and scan barcode. And I'm going to accept that. And I'm just going to scan that code. And once I scan it, you see it's giving me this set of numbers. And those are the numbers I'm going to enter here. I'm not sure how long it takes to time out, but if you look, there's a time clock on the right hand side that's timing out. I'm just going to wait for this to time out. You can see it's flashing red. Now the number has changed and I'm just going to enter the number in here. So the first number is 384970. And I'm going to come to the second. And I'll wait for that to time out. And once that clock runs out, the number is going to change. So I'll just give it a couple of seconds. And it should run out. Now the number has changed and I'm going to enter 760664. And I'll click Assign MFA. And now you see it's saying you have successfully assigned the virtual MFA and close. So from this point on, anytime you log into your root account, 
after entering your password you would have to open this app as you can see this code is always changing so you have to open the app and enter whatever number is current on this app at the time when you are trying to log in okay let's go back to our dashboard and we have complete all the security status on our root account you can see all this is checked the next thing we need to do is we need to create a multi-factor authentication for the users we created in the last lecture so for every user in your account you should also enforce a multi-factor authentication for them too so that way anytime they log in with password there's that extra layer of security where they have to enter the code to do that i'm going to select users here or select it here and let's enforce multi-factor authentication for mary we're just going to do just one under summary select security credentials and down here select assign mfa device we are going to select the same thing virtual mfa device click continue i'm going to select show qr code and i'll click this plus sign scan barcode again once i scan it it is showing down here I'm going to enter the first set of number one one zero five three five and I'm going to wait for that to change and give it a couple of seconds it's going to change you can see it says Mary at AWS notes then once it changed I'm going to enter the second set of number which is eight 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 one nine eight and I'll click assign MFA and we have enforced MFA for Mary and we'll click close and now from now on anytime Mary signs in she will have to sign in and also enter the code to be able to access our account and that is how you set up multi-factor authentication in an AWS account for your root user and also for your users and we are not going to set up MFA for the rest so from this point on we are just going to use Mary for the rest of the thing we are going to be using in our account or you can create a user for yourself in your name and give yourself administrative access and also assign MFA to yourself so that way you have that extra layer of security then we are going to be building everything from here on out thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture bye